Are you sitting comfortably? Then our little story can begin. This is the Lewitt Pfizer family. Good looking bunch, aren't they? 40 years ago, they set up an oyster farm and the rest, as they say, is history. There's Kean, who's grown up with oysters in his blood. That's just perfect. And helped turn the place into a thriving family business. There's brother-in-law Gary, who's definitely not your average foreman. Younger brother Darren gives a helping hand now and then, and is also a budding inventor. Now, there is some glamour in all the mud. Kean's wife, Mary. Some say she's the real boss around here. Right now, things are busy down on the farm with oysters going to restaurants all over the world. But it's not all work. There's always some bright spark up for a bit of crack. All said and done, they're a close family. And let's face it, what could be better in life than spending every waking moment with your nearest and dearest? an oyster is pretty indescribable. When you eat an oyster, the taste will change different times of the year. In the winter, they've, they've got a reserve of fat, and that gives them a sweet taste, which is really nice and a firm taste. And in the summer, they're full of eggs, and that gives them a creamy taste. The seawater here in Carnford Loch, it's just unique. It's different from any other bay in Ireland. You've got different nutrients running down the streams from the mountains. You've got different nutrients coming in from the Irish Sea. It's a special mix so that when you taste an oyster from Carlingford, it's like you're visiting that place. We have a really big celebration this weekend. We're celebrating our 18th wedding anniversary. So have you had not planned for the weekend? Um, I don't know, I might go windsurfing if it's windy. I just don't, don't know yet, but I see you. And I would love if just once, just once in those 18 years, Keen would actually remember it. Would you like to go away, guys? Down to Kerry, I'll get you a new wetsuit, Maya, because you're grown out of last year's ones. Oh, Keen. Yeah? You really want to go to Kerry this again with the kids? Yeah, and then we can go pier jumping. Because last year we didn't. Oh my wet. god! Any time we ever go out, I organise it. I book the dinner table. I book the hotel. Keen, really and truly, do I have to spell it out for you again? It's our anniversary this yeah. weekend. Yeah. Oh, I, I knew that. How many years is it now? It's 18, 18 years. 18, 18 lovely years, pet. 18 lovely years. So I met Keen 23 years ago. I was working with her brother and we came back to his house for a cup of tea or something. As soon as I seen him, my heart just skipped a beat. I thought, hmm, that's a nice looking girl. <laughs> no shoes, he'd long hair. For some reason or other, she had a big scowl on her face. Somebody really annoyed her, you know? She wouldn't go there, she's just too, she's just too angry. I normally went for, you know, guys, good job, whatever, you know. When we met up again, that was it. As soon as I seen him, I knew this is the guy I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. You know I love you anyway, because I'm always telling you. I know, I know, but sometimes, you know, you need to show it a wee bit. Take me out to dinner. You're a really good cook. We get way better food here at home. That's not the point, Keen. The point is I don't have to cook the meal. The more useless something is, the more romantic it is. You know, like bunches of flowers. Shower, flowers are growing beautifully in the garden. What do you do? You cut them and they're going to be dead in two days. But that's romantic. If it's important to you, I'll do something. Oh no, Keen. Honestly, you don't have to do it. I'm not putting a gun to your head. You know, if you want to go windsurfing or if you want to go way off down to Kerry. So we're going to Kerry, Josh, right? Oh, Keen, I was only joking. <laughs> okay, okay. But you know I love you anyway, don't you? That's not the point, Keen. Maybe I'm a skin flint or something. I suppose I am. <laughs> I'll be expecting great things this weekend. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to work on it. Just that one little spark. I live in hope, but I'm not holding my breath. We all have a great time down on the oyster farm. <laughs> we enjoy messing about, like, who can do this fast or who can pack oysters fast. Or... But the big thing, really, is the tractor race. <laughs> We have it down on the Oyster Farm. It's an annual thing every year. And we do a track of nearly a half a kilometre. 
my favourite tractor is called Skeletor. It might be like a skeleton on the outside, but underneath it's a beast. It's very tricky because you have to know what you're doing in a tractor. Winner stays on. It's been the same winner for a while. And Gary has been kind of kicking our asses. No, I've never been beaten, and I don't intend to get beat. Gary's like the tractor whisperer. He kind of just understands the tractors. You treat them with respect. You treat them like a woman, you know? Fill them with oil, keeps them happy. Same as a woman, fill them with wine, keeps her happy. Just show them who's in charge. Mm. Oh, yeah. The competition this year comes in the form of my younger brother, Darren. I grew up on the oyster farm. You know, we worked on the oyster farm Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, every day. Uh, but I am an arty party. I don't even think he can drive a tractor. Can he drive a tractor? He has a job, but he's an inventor, I think, at the minute. I actually have my own R&D company. We've done whiskey bottles, uh, sweet boxes, biscuit boxes. We've done some feminine products, some vibrators. But my very first job was actually a gay doll, uh, a very well-endowed gay doll, which I had to do all the engineering drawings for. <laughs> oh, what do you do? My poor missus, I keep saying to her, next year, next year Rodney would be millionaires. My missus is not called Rodney, by the way. So I think this, this, this is a no-brainer. This Americans, is going to sell. Love Americans. Americans love their dogs. I think he'll make his millions. But not in tractor racing. <laughs> he doesn't realise I'm devious. I'm devious. He doesn't realise that all we do is research and development. I'm going to tweak that tractor so I can just tick him at the end. But I always have to keep him in his place, you know. Has to be done. I'm old though. <laughs> Gary has made this rule that if you challenge the master in a tractor race, you must do a forfeit. All right, well, the forfeit is quite bad. Put it this way, those 10 big men work on that oyster farm, they all use the toilet every day. So they do. So one of us is going to have to clean out the toilet with their toothbrush. I can't lose. There's no way I'm cleaning. I don't use those toilets. I'm not cleaning their crap with my toothbrush. That man's going to hate me. It's going to despise me. <laughs> just got myself my own anniversary present. I'm really happy with it. It's something I've wanted for as long as I can ever remember. And it's great, it's big, there's loads of space in it, and it's nice and shiny. Well, what do you think of that then? It's big, isn't it? Oh my God. Yeah, well, size matters. The shed might be a bit bigger than I first planned, but you know, it's just a small industrial building at the bottom of the garden. Hello, there's like a third of my garden gone. Yeah, but that's less grass to cut. But sure, you never cut it anyway. Yeah, but it'll, it'll cost less. When it's ever fixed. Like, unless I get someone in to do this, it's going to be left like this, because Keen's not going to clean it up. Yeah, but you, you've known that about me for the last 20 years. Can't wait to see you inside. Yeah, come on, we'll have a look. Yeah, me too. <laughs> She's not allowed to fill it up with all our stuff out of the house, though. No, that's not happening. That's what the skip's for. What's this? This is a man shed, you know, man cave. Who done this? Uh, Who made this? Well, Who somebody, done somebody's this? Somebody's going to draw on, you know? You have to kind of protect your stuff from being upholstered and covered in cushions and throws. That is it. I am getting my own shed. You do that. Yeah, Isn't I am. Shed? Yeah. Okay. I am getting my own shed and it's going to be really nice. And guess what? I'm getting rid of those two sheds. And anything that's in it, you're not allowed to touch. That's it. All right? OK, thanks. OK. See you later. I don't even... Uh, don't be ringing me looking for tea or anything to bring out no, to you. No, we won't want tea. Gary, you want a beer? Bit of storage. You can do some work on it when the weather's pretty rubbish, which it normally is. But it's going to be more than that. This, I've got some, some ideas, special ideas for this place. Thanks for help, Gary. Man. What do you think? Worked it. What have you got planned for this anniversary? Oh. Or have you anything planned? She's not an easy woman to buy presents for. Yeah, so what you could do? Bring her away, buy her a present. Ah, you know, the toaster's broken. No. No. That's a divorce. <laughs> <laughs>
That's the divorce. Don't buy her a telescope. That's, gonna, or that's, an, that's an expensive present. No. That is a smooth move you're doing. Yeah. Hey, now cash. One more, one more. Yeah, Come on. Best of three. Best of three. Best of three. Yeah. And get up to behind closed doors in their back caves. What I find, if you want to keep undesirables out of your man shed, the best thing to do is a real top notch alarm system. Something to give him a bit of a fright and send him scampering back to where he came from with the tails between their legs. Anniversary morning. I don't expect much in life, but a bouquet, a diamond ring, a look, a kiss, that'd be nice. I have such a poor track record over the years that it's not going to be too hard to convince her that I have nothing going on this year. Drives me nuts sometimes. It's work, windsurfing, friends, and if I'm lucky, I might come next. I get more attention from the dog. Cut out me here and just ignore me. Every... Just blot out everything. I know that's going to set up going up the walls because she hates it when I do that. Just when I'm about to lose it. All right, see you later. Da -da! He produces a card. See you later. And it's all mysterious inside. It looks like every cloud might have a silver lining. Hello? It's me. Yeah, I got that problem. Can you, can you help me? It's very, very specific and I need someone with your uh, expertise, specific expertise. Uh -huh. Tractors, yes. Yeah. No, no, we're better doing this when no one else is around. Uh huh. Yeah, at the oyster farm, yes. Right. You think you can do it? Yeah, Darren, no problems. First, we've got to make it more aerodynamic and lighter. It's about little tiny adjustments. A little tweak here. A little tweak there. Those are things that make all the difference. Well, I'm losing the nuts, but... Uh, all right, that's it, that's okay. it. All right. Uh, one down, one to go. Hey, Pat. I'm still at work, Pat. I'm helping Darren soup up a tractor. Is that okay? Oh, that's it, she's gone. So you're, you're, you're not in trouble now? No, no, it's all right, she understands. What could be more fun in life than beating the head out of an air tractor with your younger brother? All right, Darren, do you know what we can do? If we open up the fuel pump a wee bit, it'll... Uh... Is that on this side or this side? It's over here. It's over there, is it? <sighs> oh, Darren, what are we doing? For Darren to win this race, he's going to need three things. Supercharged tractor, driving lessons, and no show from Gary. So I'm all ready to go out. Spent ages getting ready. Wow, you look great. Oh, thank you. Oh, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Thanks for organising to go out. Watch your step. Okay, here, hang on, just before you get in the car, can I just show you this over here? Okay. All right. I thought, what's he up to? Come over here a second. What are you showing me now? Ah. What did you buy? Another board? What did he buy? What's in that shed? And next thing... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Are you surprised? This is amazing! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs>
the Christmas lights, my son. Oh, this is wow. Perhaps you could be seated, dear. <laughs> this is amazing. Champagne is just chilled right. <laughs> I spent three years growing those oysters. Not an easy task. I spent 14 years growing Josh. He's just perfect too. I think it's going to be deadly. Everything's come together. In all our years together, you know, he really, really, really surprised me this time. It's the best romantic dinner I've ever had in a tin shed in our garden, ever. I have more brownie points than I've ever had in the whole of my entire life. The only hole in the boat is the bar used to be down here. Now it's up here. Oh my God, Batman's got the shiny nipples. Oh my god, <laughs> That's so rude. We oh, it's got to be Gary, you know. He's a natural when it comes yeah. to the tractors. He is the defending champion for about 20 odd years. Oh, damn. Definitely. No, no, he's in the winners. 20 euro riding on Darren. We are winning. <laughs> I look over. Darren's sitting now. Giving me the eye, you know, and I'm just looking. Come on, man. You're not going to beat me. <laughs> I did not think a tractor race would be so much rush. Three, two, one, go! No, and I was just in a panic. I was like, oh no, which, which gear? I just managed to get it into the first gear. I just put my foot down. I was 10 metres ahead of him in the first five seconds. I don't have a clue where I'm going. I'm hitting every rock, every mud hole, and mud everywhere. Oh, the tractor is going just beautiful. And it's just singing to me, so it is. And I look behind me and I'm looking at Darren and all I can see is Miss Daisy on the back of the tractor with him because he's going that slow. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. It's, it's a one horse race at the moment. I feel like the hare and the tortoise where I'm the bloody tortoise. Yeah, I might be a little bit bald, but I probably look like a tortoise. <laughs> if the race isn't over until it's over. It's like a bolt of lightning from God just bang. <laughs> And his, and his tractor stopped, you know, and he can't start it. I got out of the tractor, I checked the battery, I checked the starter. Oh, this is awesome. I'm, it's like, I am so not doing the forefoot. Oh, I just don't understand. <laughs> the first time I have lost the tractor is by Darren. I am the new winner of the Oyster Farming Tractor Race. Happy days. I can't believe it, I've been on Twitter. Who's the winner? Yeah, I'm gonna wear it. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Ah, oh, awesome. Uh, I don't know what happened. He just stopped. He's great. He just yeah. stopped. Stop. How did he beat me? I don't know. I don't understand. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm absolutely lost for words. Well, at the end of the day, the, sorry, Gary, the best man won. Everybody expected Gary to win, but yeah. I don't know what happened this year, Gary. So, but if you want to come up here, Gary, we have something for you. I'm coming. We have something for you. Yay! I don't know what deal you made with the boys, but I was.
told to pass this on, so commiserations, Gary. I don't know what it means, but you obviously, obviously it means something to you. That's forfeit, man. <laughs> I know. Okay, okay. And I want to use it first. And to our, unex <laughs> and to our unexpected <laughs> winner, <laughs> and to our unexpected winner, Darren. <laughs> I've got a drink. This is a cup. Gary, are you watching this? This is the cup. Go ahead. Oh, you want to taste it? No, you can't. Go ahead. Do you want to know what I've done with that cup? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I cheated. I, yeah, I cheated, yeah. Of course I cheated. Gary's invincible. He's won it for 20 years. We snuck out to the farm and we siphoned out the diesel. And I will tell him. I will tell him, but uh, not yet. <laughs> Hello there, buddy. I have my suspicions. I can't prove anything, but when I do, oh, there's going to be trouble, so there is. Something fishy going on somewhere along the way, man. You know, sometimes life can take us totally by surprise. It may be a very nice surprise, or it may be a very nasty surprise. Whatever, good or bad, it's really all about how you deal with the surprise that matters. Happy days. Oh, man, no!